everyone and welcome to another another video on Hades Beer Corner. This here is Alfred. Alfred is a Moomin ancestor, my co-host and a relative of Berti, uh, my, who is a, also a Moomin ancestor uh, and is my co-host on my main channel, Hades Corner. Uh, but anyway, very big welcome. Let's go on. So, as the title of the video suggests, I found a very curious uh, beer. It's a um, strong lager from Ukraine. It's, um, it's a new, new thing in Finland. I've, uh, this hasn't been on the Finnish market uh, for, for a long time. Uh, it's a very new, new import. But here it is, it's a um, uh, light lager, very strong, 8.6%. I have never before seen this strong lager. Uh, if it's been, if lager type beers have been this strong that I've seen, um, it's typically been bock or do like double bock or uh, triple bock, which is uh, its subtype if you will, of lagers. Anyway, la lager is a beer that has been brewed and conditioned at a low temperature that is between five to 10 degrees Celsius. Uh, do your math to Fahrenheit. Um, anyway, lagers uh, can be pale, amber, or dark. Uh, pale lager is the White, the most widely uh, consumed and com commercially uh, available style of beer globally. And um, the term lager comes from the German, comes from German, German word for uh, storage, as the beer has, be, uh, has uh, been um, stored in cold temperature before uh, drinking. Uh, traditionally, in the same caves, it has been uh, fermented in. Uh, the tradition of lager brewing dates back to medieval times in uh, Europe with, with important um, bottom fermenting yeast emerging from hybridization in uh, early 15th century and it became the main form of brewing in the kingdom of bohemia in mid, in mid to late 1800s until the 19th century the uh, german word lagerbier referred to all types of bottom fermented cool conditioned beer in normal strengths however this particular brew we're talking about today it's 8.6 percent uh by volume so that's uh, way beyond the normal scope of what uh old, old lagers uh were in germany today it mainly refers uh lager mainly uh lager beer mainly refers to beers from southern germany either helles or pale or dunkel dark helles is um as the german type is is unknown but the dunkel variants uh can be quite good uh the helles i don't know uh it's is i have no personal experience on on the south, south german helles it could be could be bad could be all right i i'm not sure uh one sort of subtype of of lager is pilsner which is way way more um hopped uh pale lager and it's called, most often known as pilsner pilsner or pils i call it piss is i i can't stand pilsner it's horrible uh but that's just my personal opinion go figure your own 
Okay, other lockers are Bok, which I mentioned. There are Bok, Double Bok, and Triple Bok uh, that I found. And then there are Nerzen and Schwarzbeer or Black Bear. And Black Bear, German Black Bear that I uh, came across in Berlin were actually quite good. Uh, in the United Kingdom, the term Pilsner refers to pale lagers divide, uh, derived from Pilsner style. Uh, as well as uh, with when it comes to maturation, uh, lager is uh, cold storage and um, also matured, matured in cold temperatures. Most lagers are disting st distinguished by the use of Saccharomyces fasterianus, uh, a bottom or a bottom fermenting yeast that uh, ferments at a relatively cold temperature. In for lagers, in most cases, uh, five to ten degrees Celsius. Do your conversion to Fahrenheit, if you will. Uh, this yeast is this this yeast Saccharomyces pastorianus is closely related to Saccharomyces cerevisiae, which is a yeast used in top fermenting beers. Also, uh, also I came across um, some mentions of sort of a um, hybrid yeast is said to have been created from the previously mentioned yeasts. Uh, or at least the uh, Saccharomyces fasterianus, but I couldn't find uh, much on it to tell you onwards, so go look it up if you will. Okay, now that I've, uh, I've poured myself a glass, so this is a Ukrainian beer uh, made by Obolon, which is a, um, co a Ukrainian company uh, with an address in Kiev. Uh, or Kiev, if you will. Uh, Kiev is the uh, Ukrainian pronounced pronunciation and the way of writing it. It's uh, a Kiev based uh, company and brewery house which makes all kinds of um, different beers and soft drinks like cola, cola, uh, orange pop, pop soda, etc. So the the uh, head is very light and very thin uh, and the color as you can see is very uh, golden yeah, light gold light golden okay it's, the smell is very and mind you this is 8.6 percent so mm, it's very um, fruity if you very fruity mm. It's very sweet, actually. It's quite sweet. Uh, it, it does have glucose fructose syrup in it, so that's how you get uh, a lager this strong. You use it's water, barley malt, glucose fructose syrup, and hops. That's what. That's how you get a sweet taste and eight point six. Uh, percent uh, alcohol by volume when you use glucose glucose in it so it's re but it's really really good mm. I highly recommend Obolon 8.6 it's a strong very strong lager I would say I don't usually drink lagers but I would still give this a good six out of ten. Six, six and a half out of ten. Let's go for with six out of ten. Yeah. So that's that's a very good very good grade from me to a logger. So keep that in mind. Thank you very much for watching.
This is Alfred, my co-host, Moomin Ancestor, relative to Batfield, and my co-host. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and tickle the notification bell for more uh, for notifications for more such content. Slava Ukraini! Have a good evening.